Hello everyone and a very Merry Christmas to you and if you are watching this after New Year, a very Merry New Year to you too. I'm joined here in the first kind of festive podcast we're doing by two lovely individuals, <laughs> Mr. GRN Celery Stick himself. Hello there. Hey, how you doing guys? And Mr. John from Jardev. Hi, hi everyone, hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really enthusiastic. That was awesome. Hi. <laughs> so before we start... I want to give you guys a bit of a Christmas present, and I want to give all the listeners a Christmas what? present as well. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you might know this already, but Justin Bieber has been quite good to us. Really? What? Yeah. Has he? Yeah, oh, wait well, a he minute. doesn't just treat his fans well. That's right, I heard about him. <laughs> yeah, he's decided to retire on Christmas really? Day. Really? Yep. On Christmas Day. <laughs> he is retired. He is officially retired. Isn't he kind of young to is, retire? Is that... Look, I... He's 17, yeah. <laughs> 17 and retiring. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That fucking guy. His, um, his excuse was he wants his um, music to mature. Okay. But, wait, um, so, wait yeah. he wants his music to mature? I think yep. he wants him to no, mature. Not, not like himself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll read you his tweet here. <laughs> oh, okay. It says, My beloved believers, I'm officially retiring. The media talks. Oh, should I do a Justin Bieber voice? Go for it. Let me. Yeah, I want to hear you your actually, Biebs voice. Yeah. yeah, and then mix that in with a little Game of Thrones at the end. It'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like put auto tune? The media talks a lot about me. <laughs> they make up a lot of lies and want me to fall, but I'm never leaving you. Being a believer <laughs> is a lifestyle. Be kind, loving to each other, forgive each other as God forgave us through Christ. Merry Christmas. I'm here forever. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. He got all religious uh, on you at the end too. Wow. He threw Christ in there. Yeah. He did. That that didn't really sound like a retirement thing, to be honest. <laughs> well, he said, he, "My beloved believers, I'm officially retiring." I guess. That's... Yeah, but then he says, "Like, <laughs> I'll always be here." And stuff. <laughs> sounds like I'm Mariah so Carey. Yeah, he's always there. <laughs> it kind of yeah. sounds like he's just like taking a break. Maybe it was too much for him. Maybe is. he couldn't take it. Maybe he couldn't like cut it. Maybe it's just all the fame, all the fortune. Maybe the drugs went to his head. I, that's that, that, that's <laughs> my problem all the time. I always got to say all no. The, so uh, all the gargantuous amount of pussy that he gets. <laughs> yeah, get, getting caught going a hundred miles over on the freeway on his Ferrari like every other week. <laughs> oh yeah. And then just like spitting in the cop's face. Yeah. Is, did he do that? Typical JB. <laughs> uh, yeah, he that, that he likes bad on fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that won't really I help. I put a smile on my face for the festive period. That's pretty good. Uh, I was, I was, yeah, that's that's pretty good news. Thanks thanks for the present. Yeah, no. I, I didn't actually get you anything, I'm, I'm sorry to say. I, uh, that's all right. I, I have Sour <laughs> Your Patch Kids. Is enough. I, I really should stop eating oh, them. thanks, man. You have what? I have Sour Patch Kids. I have those addictions. So I went to the Bulk Barn here. Uh, bulk Barn's like this store where you get all this like loose candy in bags, and you just pick whatever you want up and pay for it like by weight. Oh, my God. And, wow. Yeah, and they have, like, baked goods. They have, like, flour, rice, whatever you want, right? And uh, Sour Patch Kids, like a little candy here. I don't know if you guys have had them before, but... Well, John, you probably have. I don't know if you yep. had, Jimmy, but... Yeah. Well, when you say that, I only think of Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> which is, you, know, you know what that is? The little dolls. Yeah. The doll things, yeah. yeah. The, no, no, these these are edibles. So you're not eating little children. Then. No, not... You kind of are, aren't they? In the shape of little children. That's what makes them taste so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Made with real children. <laughs> yeah, it's like soy and green. No, they're just like these little candies that are like sour. And I've eaten so many and my gums and like my whole mouth is raw. And I just want to eat more because oh, they're so God. tasty. That is the Probably a sign you worst. should stop then if it hurts. I bought almost two kilos of them. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, That's the weight of a small baby as well, isn't it? <laughs> a very small baby, but yes. Yeah. That is, is going to murder your tongue and like everything. <laughs> well, what happened is anyway. I got my, my braces oh. adjusted recently, and there's this new bracket they put on like on the inside of my mouth, and it's like gouging my tongue as it is, so it's already swollen and oh. like, all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. So you're like, well, what's the worst that can yeah, happen? Yeah, I just can't speak. <laughs> and I just eat Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Well, that is rough. <laughs> anyway, how was your Christmas, guys? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I, uh, we took down yeah, our my... tree right away. This morning, it was gone. Oh, really? Yep. 
oh. there's no more Christmas in my house except the lights outside because it's too cold to do that still. Um, it gets wow. cluttered in my place. I don't have the biggest house, so to have the tree up with the dogs and stuff, it just it's not enough room. So we're we had snow over there for Christmas. Shit tons, like metric shit yeah. tons. There's so much snow outside. I got a shovel again too. Well, my dad really? sent me some uh, pictures from the UK. Really? And basically, it's just been raining and storming over there. Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard this like really bad storms. People are losing power in London and stuff. Yeah, trains have stopped running. Wait, you're talking about England yeah. or, or, or or Ontario in London? Because we England. Uh, both. Okay. Both oh, okay. actually. Yeah. Because we've right. been losing power. We haven't, but like my parents' place, everyone I know has been losing power. We had like a crazy ice storm. Like we had like five centimeters of ice on like tree branches and stuff. It was crazy. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's happening. At, like, uh, there's power lossage. lossage. Lossage? I don't think that's a word. <laughs> there's uh, power yeah, outages in, in uh, Ontario and in England. Yeah. People actually die. Oh, the trains? Whoa. Yeah, some people die. It was nuts. Like, um, Really? They made some bad choices. Uh, I don't know the entire story, but what I heard is they... Uh, oh, I saw. I heard this. Yeah. yeah they... Speaking of that... That's a good segue into my next bit, which is a, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys two little Christmas stories um, about people dying. Well, not dying, oh. but yeah. Oh, I'm so going to get oh, flamed okay. on this the for first later, one okay. The first one is a true story. The first one I is a true that. story about a guy called John Porter right? from New York, whose pipes in his home froze one winter. And anxious to unfreeze them, he backed his car up to open windows so that the exhaust would warm up the house. Oh, God, why would you do that? <laughs> a little while later, and Porter, his wife, and three of their children had to be rushed to hospital suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, my God. I don't even know if you could stand it. A car stinks. Like, how are you going to stand next to... <laughs> it was probably diesel, yeah. too. Like, really nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, you must yeah. be really cool to have to try yeah. and do that, Jesus. <laughs> Talk about bad choices. Well, that's how these people oh died, actually. It's the same thing. Yeah. They didn't quite they, do uh, that. They turned on their stove. <laughs> Speaking of stoves, the next story <laughs> is about George Gibbs. You're not just Googling <laughs> the things we say, are you? Are you saying, random Google <laughs> no. story, Christmas go? <laughs> He's lit literally working oh. out perfectly here. Uh, okay. this, this guy suffered second degree burns on his head. And uh, one freezing winter morning, he was unable to start his car, and he was um, he diagnosed the problem as a frozen fuel line, which he thought he could correct by running warm petrol through it. He then tried to heat a two-gallon can of petrol on his gas stove. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my <laughs> <In the> kitchen! <laughs> what? Oh, the poor man. Oh my gosh. The human, the human race is just going to shit, uh, isn't it? <laughs> like, uh, talk about natural I mean, selection, man. Yeah, like I was going to say, it sounds terrible, but like, this is Darwin's theory, like, <laughs> in progress right now. Some people just. It's natural selection. They'll unselect These themselves. <laughs> die. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait, when, when did this happen? Um, it doesn't say. Oh. It could Good. Oh, that makes it real last. legit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where are you getting this? Uh, where's, what's your source here, oh, Jimmy? The internet, you know. Oh, the internet. Oh, yeah. oh source this of just all in. Facts. Apparently, <laughs> you're just googling them all. I know you are, Jimmy. There's no way you add those. <laughs> you're just googling over there. I'm just making shit up. Get off, ask Jeeves. <laughs> yeah. No, those guys that they did is they actually lit their barbecues inside their home, and they uh, well these what was their barbecues? Yeah, they they choked themselves on their barbecues. Some people lit like started is it too cold outside. Man, it's freezing here. Like at night, well, it's probably colder where John is, but here it's like minus twenty at night. That's pretty cold. Can you imagine you got kids and stuff and yeah. no heat in the house. That you get pretty desperate, but. There's like community centers and stuff. Like you could go to the community center. They're open all night, and you can hang out there if you don't have power. And you can like, yeah, there's true. places where you can sleep. Like the government sets stuff up. Like it's easy for me to say because I have power, but I wouldn't light my barbecue in my house. Like <laughs> it's kind of silly. Like, no, seriously. <laughs> like my my mom, my dad didn't have power. They went to my sister's place, which is only like an hour from their house, and they hung out there for two days. Like if you don't know somebody, you go somewhere else. Like there's there's. Yeah. Let's just say they didn't die, so... Well, they did. They were... Yeah, this... 
Some some what? people did die. What they did is oh. they, they died of carbon monoxide poisoning in their homes from lighting their barbecues and like lighting their cars. I yeah. Know. No, I meant your family. Meant oh your family. oh yeah, they're fine. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, at least your family's <laughs> out there. How, so how by cold natural is it selection, there? Cool. Right now, let me check my phone. Right now, it's not that cold. Yeah. It's like probably minus five. Um. Okay. Right now. Because it's uh, it's actually it's eight degrees over here. Oh wow. Wasn't it like minus yeah. 50 a while ago over there? Are you yeah, taking like... Fahrenheit? No, Celsius. No, Celsius. Celsius. Alright, it's like 30 degrees here. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> lovely and warm. Yeah, it's minus 4 right Eight now. 8 is lovely and warm. <laughs> it's almost yeah, too a couple warm. Of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago it got to like minus 40 or something, and now we're sitting at 10 every That's day. That's crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. Minus it is crazy. We're just have, yeah, minus 40. That's not uncommon out there, gets. though. Isn't it pretty cold there nope. for the most part? Yeah, yeah. Minus 40 was pretty bad, but, like, you can expect winter to be below minus 20 most of the time. Bitter <laughs> cold. Like, it's it's real cold. Yeah, I really don't know why we came to Canada, but uh, <laughs> I'll make the most of it. It's, uh, it's snow better than rain. Oh, yeah, rain, hell yeah. Actually. Well, what? Um... Really? Well, <laughs> rain at rain at plus ten is a lot better than snow at minus forty. <laughs> you can't build snowmen with rain. Oh, snowmen aren't that fun. <laughs> you can't have rain fights. You get over snowmen so quickly when you come <laughs> to Canada. Uh, you can't actually build snowmen. My first winter was like oh, yes. I saw an amazing picture on my Facebook of someone that uh, gave someone. Uh, oh God, I can't even speak. Uh, they gave presents to them and wrapped them in white boxes. And in the shape of a snowman under the tree. That's pretty cool. So like three, oh, three cool. boxes of different sizes. Cool and creepy all at the I same think time. I think I should go something like that. It's cool, man. It's a great idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Speaking of presents, did you guys get anything cool? I did, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I got a second monitor for my computer. That's pretty sweet. Mm. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. And, uh, and I also got a frame for my signed Niles E print. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just hanging above my mirror. I, I'm looking at it right now. It's beautiful. It's pretty cool. Lovely, lovely. I uh yeah. Um, I didn't really get anything. We're uh we're kind of trying to get our wedding together for next year, so we're kind of cutting back on everything we can. Ooh. But uh, nice. We definitely didn't go cheap though. Like um, I'm building a table in my garage. So that's kind of cool. So that's supposed to replace our existing table. Sounds very cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's cool, yeah. What kind of table is it? What kind of wood? Um, this is a soft wood. It's like a... Mahogany legs. No, mahogany, yeah. <laughs> mahogany. Yeah, no, no mahogany mm. tables Ooh. here. One, I'm not Rockefeller. <laughs> and two, I'm... Uh... What are you going to put on the table? Dinner. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> Food. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so we're doing that. That's pretty cool. And uh, <clears throat> whatever. I, uh, I bought my sweetheart a bunch of gifts. I just decided not to... We just bought little things for each other, nothing special. Yeah, my family did no presents Christmas, which no was present. fun. <laughs> yep. Why? Because uh, my sister just came back to Singapore. Cool. And uh, my mom's been really busy, so no one had time to buy presents, so we just went, we'll just eat. That's actually what Lots. we did too. We okay. went crazy on eating. Yeah, I mean, last, last year I got uh, Tony Blair's autobiography oh wow <laughs> yep okay we we did a right. we did kind of a lucky dip swap presents so you <laughs> buy one present then you draw lots yeah I, I picked the shittest one <laughs> tony blair's autobiography <laughs> nice <laughs> which i then I, I i swapped it for a slank kit what, with my stepsister what's a slank kit uh, a what a slank kit yeah. i'm glad you asked a slanket is snuggie. basically a blanket you put your arms in. Snuggy, I got it. Snuggy, yeah. Snuggy, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Snuggy. <laughs> slanket, that's interesting. It's a rip-off Snuggy. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. God. Slanket rips off Snuggy. My God. Take two. Yeah. 2013. They're pretty good. <laughs> and for cold weather, yeah. Doesn't do me much good beer. Yeah, you almost need like an <laughs> inverted one. That's all you actually wear is a slanket, nothing else. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, pants. pants are yeah, yeah, come on in. I got my slanket on. It's all right. 
Um, Jimmy, yeah, well, your slanket doesn't cover your. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Inappropriate calling cards. <laughs> we're better than this. Oh, that's okay. So since we're all like uh, gamers, you want to call it that, or we play games on the internet? Yes. Shall we talk about our favorite games of the year? Perhaps. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about some video games for our, yeah. our gaming channel. Cool. Let's not talk about our. Butts hanging out of slankets. Let's talk about games. Hey, that wasn't me. <laughs> I don't even own a slanket. <laughs> I, I, I wish I owned a snuggie, to be honest, or a slanket. But they are they know. are pretty amazing. So who wants to start off? Go for it, John. Who's go who's gonna do the John? Go ahead. You have two votes. There you go. I could. Okay. So my game of the year is actually Don't Starve. Big surprise. Oh wow! <laughs> Big really? Surprise. Wow. I would not expect that from your channel. Uh, Don't Starve came out April 23rd, apparently, according to this Wikipedia page I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. I did have a lot of fun uh, with Don't Starve. I did play that as well. Yeah, Don't Starve has the second most played time on my Steam. Um, but yeah, Don't Starve, obviously. <laughs> what do you like about it the most? Nice. I, I just like... I like that... That like Steam was so open and Clay was so open about being able to mod it, and like the fact that it got workshop support like so quickly was like a huge deal for me. And that's pretty much where I gained most of my subscribers from was doing the mod spotlights. So that's pretty much what I like the most about it. Yeah, both of you do the mod spotlights, don't you? Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, we both do that's, it. That's how I ran into John actually, just seeing all the spotlights and. Uh... Yeah, that's true. You found me on like the, the subreddit, didn't you? I, I think, think so. Yeah, because uh, we just have a lot of the same content, and uh, yeah, there's lots of viewers out there. You're never really competing against each other. There's uh, especially when you only have you know a couple hundred views per video or something like that. You're never competing with anybody. You're exactly. just having a good yeah. time, right? So uh, yeah, exactly. Maybe if you had a million oh, views, yeah. then we might be competing for people, but <laughs> <laughs> you might have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but no. For for now, we still do like some of the same mods, and that's that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. So have you got have you got just one game that you, you that you think is? Are we just talking about one or a couple of games that you enjoyed? Um. Okay, I, I, hang on. I just looked up something else because this has got like way too much play time from me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna count Civilization Five: Brave New World. Oh, you just got that recently, oh. didn't you? I I did, I got that, I finally picked up Brave New World on the, the autumn sale, yeah. I picked up like the gold edition of Civ 5 over the summer and I played that a bunch, okay. but like since I got Brave New World, I've put in like over 30 hours or something, Lovely. That's so like, good. Civ is now sitting at like 60 hours playtime on Steam. The only, um, the only Civ I played was, uh, is it called Revelations or... It was a really simplified one for the consoles. Well, how was it? Uh, Civ Five is actually the first Civ game I've ever played, <laughs> so I don't really know anything about it before now. They haven't they haven't something. changed too much. They're all they're oh. all kind of like turn based strategy. Like I've I played the first bunch. I haven't played Civ Five. I haven't played Civilization in a long time. But from what I've seen on YouTube, it hasn't changed too much. Yeah, they Probably changed not. from uh, they changed from squares to. Pentagons or octagons, or something. Yeah, 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 they did. So you got more, yeah, more uh, dimensions, or I don't know, more. I guess degrees of freedom to build your, to build your civilization. Yeah. You like that degrees of yeah, freedom? Yeah, I've just, I've just had. When I played <laughs> it, when I played it, um, I don't know if I played it on too easy a difficulty, but I'll just get tanks and steamroll everyone. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that seemed like the legit tactic to use. I think they made Brave New World a lot harder, harder than like the Gods and Kings update, which was the one before this. Okay. Cause, like I don't win nearly as much on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got worse or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I love Civ Five now since I got it, and yeah, Brave New World's great. So mm. I'm, I'm gonna count that Brave Sweet. New World and Don't Starve. Nice, That's pretty good. Solid choices. They are solid. Um, Thanks. if I had to choose, um, it's a tough one. There's a bunch of games that I've played that I don't necessarily play on my channel. I played, uh, 
a lot of... Oh man, I can't believe it. Ah! What is it called? The names escape me. Suspense is killing me. No, no, me I here. just had like a memory <laughs> lapse all of a sudden. He's forgotten the name it's of the his favorite game of the year. Skyrim. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm like Bethesda. Bethesda. Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim. I played a lot of Skyrim, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a really good game that lends to YouTube very well. There's a lot of like, you know, rant. You gotta do something different with it. Yeah, like there's a yeah. videos on there's it. There's a lot of random exploring and a lot of just traveling, getting nothing done, right? And so many side quests. Yeah. And I can't be a bucket murderer like some of the other YouTubers out there, right? So I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I watched a few of like uh, Yogscast Sips does a lot of Skyrim. You know he's really good. And um, he he can make yeah, anything he's... into a video. He is really good. Exactly. Yeah. But it's he does make Skyrim. I watched I watched a good few of them and then I checked his channel recently and it seems like he's done what like 80 episodes of that shit. Imagine that, right? I think he broke 100. Pretty nice. Yeah, I think he did break 100. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a good series. It's just stop that. My cat, as I call him, troll cat, is trolling me right now. <laughs> he's all over my microphone. <laughs> um, no, it's a good game. Yeah, it's not all cats do. They just troll you. Pretty much. This one also and shits then... on the floor on occasion, but that's okay. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's nice. I was gonna say, Skyrim's the first game that I got all the achievements in. You got all of them? I did, yeah. Wow. And it, it, yeah, it's the first game that I, like, properly completed. Before wow. before all the DLC, of course. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. No, um... Yeah, I... I... It's fun doing the achievements, man. It's good. It's a fun game. I, I prefer it on, like, PS3 as opposed to the PC. Because you can really kick it. Wait, really? Well, the interface is better on PC, but on the PS3, yeah. you can at least just sit down on the couch with your controller. Like, I can do that on my PC, but... I guess, yeah. It's a better point All the play. PC Skyrim fans just... No, no, I I say it's better on the PC. Oh, you... The actual game is better on PC. It looks better, you can mod it. Yeah. I just... Some games, I think, are better to sit on a couch and play, because you, you can be playing Skyrim for hours, and, like, I can actually... I did play mine on the PS3, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I originally had it on the PS3 as well. <laughs> no, it's it's quite good. Um, what else did I play a lot this year? I guess, well, I did play a lot of Don't Starve. I mean, it says this isn't very much for a game, I suppose, but I got 45 hours on it, and that's only like three months worth of gameplay, so that's pretty good. Um, Damn. Yeah, I, I think I have similar to that, actually. 47 hours. <laughs> I got some gaming to do. Uh, <laughs> 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 um... It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. A lot of playability, replayability. Like, not one playthrough is the same. You never know what you're going to do. Like, I just started a new series that should be coming out probably tomorrow, depending on when you're seeing that, on the 27th of December. Um, and I've decided to play one more time, but I've modded it so I can't die this time. So then no matter what, I can actually make 100 episodes because I won't just die playing. There's a little spoiler for you, but... <laughs> Um, I'm going to play uh, Devil's Advocate yeah. here and say that I got pretty bored playing Don't Starve. Really? You can. I can yeah. see how. I made it, yeah, I mean, I made it through the first winter and then the second summer. And then by, by the second winter, I'd kind of been like, I've done most, I've explored the entire map, I've got my camp set up. I've killed the uh, tree thing. I forget what the hell that is. Optimus Pine. Tree guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of, I kind of ran out of stuff to do, and, and yeah. right around that time, That's you gotta kind of start out. Like, I know that if you were playing this earlier on in the year, it wouldn't have had all the expansions. Yeah, like, they've added a lot of content, like with the caves. Yeah, and everything. I haven't checked back. The caves, which yeah. I haven't been able to venture into yet because I just die all the time. Me neither. <laughs> it's so scary and dark down yeah, there. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Troll cat. Um, so... I heard your cat. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it can be boring at times if, if you don't, uh, don't play just right. Stop it! <laughs> and, oh, let it meow. Um, but no, I like it's it. It's, it's the genre, like, I'm not a big first-person shooter player, so it's just kind of like my style of game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Ooh. my favorite, like, style of game is, like, the, the rogue, like, permadeath kind of yeah. games. Ooh, you played Risk Finding of Rain? Isaac. I have not played it yet, but I did buy it uh, on sale. It is freaking amazing. It looks so much fun. You would uh, not really expect that game to be fun just by looking at it, but it is great. 
yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to play it at some point. I do have like too many games in my Steam library. Oh, but God, I'll get yeah. around. Don't you have like 400? <laughs> uh, I'm at 330 now. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you, are you like a collector or do you have like, I don't know, like, um, have you spoke to anybody about this ever or like... <laughs> do you need some no, help? No, I, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I basically just buy like every single Humble Bundle that comes out. That's the problem with Steam. It doesn't go on a bookshelf, so you don't know when you've got too many. No, that's true. <laughs> it does take me like half an hour to scroll to the bottom of the list so that that could be a good sign. <laughs> Or a bad sign. <laughs> Risk of Rain. So those are games and celery. Uh, Risk of Rain, this like 8-bit pixel game you guys got here. Action platformer oh, yeah. with roguelike elements, permadeath as a primary feature. Can you mod it though? Yeah, it's great. No, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. It's it's pretty. It's, I think it's made by two dudes. I can believe it. Really? It reminds me a lot of Terraria. Yeah, there's like the bosses and stuff as well. Yeah. Although it's nothing like Terraria. No? Okay. No, it's... I don't really know how to describe it. Kind of like Rogue Legacy is like the closest I can think of. <laughs> like Dungeon Keeper kind of thing? Or no? Um, it's kind of like... <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, it's hard to describe it. Cool. It's pretty unique. Well, we can find out, I suppose. So are those your game choices? Yeah, then? they'd have to be my best. Cool, right. What about you? Alright, take so, away, Jimmy. Um, did you guys happen to play the Smurfs 2? <laughs> Came out on Wii U, Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, no, and on the DS? No, I definitely haven't. <laughs> no? You guys I, missed no. that release? Yeah, I, I must have just passed, passed me by. Yeah, it must have just oh. gone right past me. <laughs> <laughs> Sing the happy well, song for us. I think my uh, my choice for the year would be Bioshock Infinite. Oh yeah. Um, just because after the game, I'd sit down and kind of <laughs> pretty much assess everything that I just did. Oh god. Because the story, my goodness, it's brilliant. Well, I know like Bioshock, the first one, the story stuck with me for a while, uh, yeah. and I just haven't played Bioshock Infinite yet, so I imagine it would be kind of a similar thing. Yeah, I mean, people complain about the combat, and I can see where they're coming from. The combat pretty much is like a filler to get you to the next point in the story. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I found, that's why I found with it. So it's definitely more story-oriented than like a, an yeah, action or game? Or action killer, yeah. yeah. The action's pretty good, the combat's alright. But it just gets okay. a bit samey. Hmm. But the story is good enough for you to keep playing. Okay. And well, I have it. It's installed on my computer. I just <laughs> haven't, haven't played, played it that either. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many games I haven't played. <laughs> um, the other games I think I would include in the list would be The Wolf Among Us that came out recently. You like that? Okay. I do. I thought it was a cool game. I love Telltale, man. You know. Yeah, that was Telltale, wasn't it? Yeah. <gasps> Telltale's making a Game of Thrones game, guys. Uh -oh. Yeah, they are. Uh -oh. Jeez. That's going to be cool. Apparently it's all new content, though. Nothing to do with the books and hmm. stuff. That's going to be less cool. <laughs> well, I actually think... Losing interest. <laughs> I think the uh, the Telltale games thing, I, I like them. I do. But I find they're a little too slow moving. I think they need to be quicker. Like, it's like an animated storybook, right? It almost needs to move a little quicker for me to... Slow keep. burners. Mm. I mean, the games are good. Mm. I mean, the whole... The entire uh, Walking Dead series they did, and, like, the, the, uh, the Wolf Among Us thing, like, they're good. And I watched some people play them. I even watched Hannah play it for a little bit, and I never watch Hannah. And, uh, <laughs> you can watch me <laughs> play it on my channel. <laughs> Ooh. And good The Walking Dead there. Season 2. But I think the problem with these games is some people say there's not enough gameplay and the choices don't really matter. But in my opinion, it's how much you kind of throw yourself into the game and how much you like involve yourself. Because it'll be like a choice, like in the beginning of The Wolf Among Us, you got a choice to kick down a door or knock. And okay. uh, like people say, oh, it's just a flavor choice. But it's kind of like you choose the story you want to tell. I like that. Yeah, fair enough. So I guess like, like it all depends how much you want to invest of yourself into the game. Yeah. Hmm. And 
talking about stories, the next game would be Gone Home. Have you guys seen that? I have Gone Home. I played 20 minutes of it, and I haven't finished it, but I really want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my god, that game... I don't know if it's like my favorite game of the year, but it's it pretty damn good. I think I've seen that up for a lot of people's game of the year, and like it got like rave reviews when it first came out, so yeah. I picked it up yeah. like right away. No, I remember it got. Some and I, I don't know. I just sorry. Go ahead, John. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't play it. I don't know. I was just gonna say I haven't played it yet. <laughs> like so many of my games. <laughs> it's so well made. That's all I can say. It's like from the creators of Bioshock as well, isn't it? Um. Or like uh, a like the one writers? of the developers. I one think, of the writers, I think it's Fulbright. Yeah. Fulbright company. Yeah. 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 But um yeah, just exploring that house, man, I was so fucking scared. <laughs> like the, I know, a, the atmosphere they create is like Oh, it's so chilling. But there's nothing scary in the game, which is why it's exactly. so brilliant. That's interesting. I I, I think before I bought it, I like Googled to see if there were any like jump scares and there weren't. So I was like, well, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> no, no. But that's, that's the thing. They say that it's better to not know anything about the game to, and play it. Yeah. Like if I, you were to I, Google there's no jump scares, then you'd be like, oh, okay. You okay. know there's nothing coming. Whereas if you're playing it, I played it without knowing anything, just knowing that people said it was amazing. So there are the spoilers okay. right there. I haven't played this game, and now it's been ruined for me. Thank you very much. Ah, you're never gonna <laughs> <play>. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to talk about spoilers for that game. Can I? Uh, no, no. It's only been released like three months ago, four months ago. Give it give it time. <laughs> cool. Alright, cool. my final game. This, this is it. I'm, I'm done after this. Uh, the Stanley Parable. Yeah. The Stanley Parable, yeah. Is complete That's a yuck. good call. That's a good call. An interesting game. The uh, the perspective was really cool, how you kept coming back a few times and stuff like that. And you're like, I guess it's near midway through the game, I guess. Yeah. What do you like mean? You go through one door and you end up dying and then you end up restarting. And you, you, but you're not, but oh, you're not yeah, actually yeah. dead, Most right? Classics. It's part of the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's best it's best to not spoil anything <laughs> about that game. So, but well, that could be anywhere. That yeah. could have been anywhere <laughs> yeah. in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I, I knew a bit about it. I'd seen it like on a live stream or something. I'd seen a couple of the endings on a live stream, so I kind of knew how it worked. But it was still really fun to play, and I still have like more than half the endings to go through. I think. Uh huh. So yeah, even if you do know a bit about it, it's still a really good game. Yeah. Cool. I'm surprised we left off all the big titles. I don't think any of us played the big titles this year. I yeah, I I didn't play The Last of Us. I didn't play um Grand Theft Auto V. Nope, or did I? Yeah, I both of which are awesome. What games. were the other I mean I think they're awesome. Last of Us is really cool. It's just I watched a playthrough of it and Yeah, see. I got about about I don't know three four episodes in I'm like all right I should probably buy this game because I enjoy it and then I just never mm -hmm. uh, I never did get around to it there's just so many people playing it and I'm just like ah maybe not this year and uh, <laughs> yeah. but we actually have a copy of it upstairs for the PS3 it's just I just never got around to playing it <laughs> the thing is they're just not on PC and that's the big thing for me yeah, yeah I don't want to go right. back to my PS3 after this <laughs> my PS3 is in the UK I can oh. Yeah, that's like I would love to play Grand Theft Auto V, and I'll buy it pretty much as soon as it comes out on PC. But I don't want to play it that much that I'll play it on PS3. <laughs> yeah. But the beginning of The Last of Us, like the first ten minutes, that's probably the best like introduction to a game I've ever seen. Pretty good. I I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it, it's... Like the beginning, like you play as the the daughter, and then you get in the car, and there's all this shit happening. It's really like have you not, oh standard yeah. have you seen it? standard zombie okay. apocalypse kind of kind of gameplay and like cinematics. It's quite good, really emotional. Made me cry. Yeah, the daughter dies in the first ten minutes. Spoiler alert! Wow. <laughs> it's not spoiling anything. It's okay. I, okay. <laughs> A couple of my friends actually got bored playing it and never bothered finishing it. Well, get their copy. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
I've, I've had people offer it to me, and I just don't want to play it. <laughs> it's a little linear, the game. Well, the game's a yeah. little linear, I think. It's, there's yeah. not too many story options you have. You have to do what the game says. Okay. What were what were the other like huge games for this? Oh, Assassin's Creed Four was it? Black Flag, I think Black it was. Flag, it. Black yeah. Flag, yeah. yeah. You play that? I, I haven't played that. <laughs> I was trying to play it, but um, it never got. I was really busy. I just didn't have the time this year. And uh, I'm yeah. actually a little worried that it would get a little boring. Um, after the first couple Assassin's Creeds, like that I played on PS3, they started to get really repetitive, really repetitive. Hmm. And then once you got all your yeah, I'm gonna be on. What's that? Nice. Oh, I I haven't actually <clears throat> played more than an hour of Assassin's Creed, and I like I started with the first one, and I just quit because I hated it. <laughs> it's just yeah, too boring. It's, it's really yeah. repetitive. I mean, <sighs> it was it was it is just really boring. I like how none of us are really fans of like the big games. <laughs> You know, it's so weird, because I mean, you just said that, like, Don't Starve gets repetitive after a while. And here is a title like Assassin's Creed, a multi-million dollar title, okay? Like, it's a franchise game going on to the fourth one, and uh, people love it. There's so many people that love it. And then there's a game like Don't Starve from a little yeah. tiny indie developer in Vancouver who, who made this game. Yeah. And I've dumped 45 hours into it, and I don't even feel it. It's, it was like I was playing Final Fantasy VII on my PS1 back in the day, and uh, nice. <laughs> I, I dumped like 150 hours into that, but that's like a multi-million dollar title, right? And I don't know, I think yeah. it's really dependent on who's playing it. There are some die-hard Assassin's, Assassin's Creed fans that are going to like shit all over you for that, I guarantee it, but... It, same as God. Yeah. Same as God. That's right, yeah, same deal, it's the same deal. They, they released a terrible game and people still buy it. <laughs> Except COD gets enough hate by itself that, like, we don't have to worry too much about that. <laughs> COD should retire, like, Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> they should. No, uh... Um, what game... But why retire something that makes shitload of money? Justin let let the game mature. The thing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let the game's players mature. I'm actually, yeah, uh... Seriously. I'm really looking forward to Dragon Age, uh... Oh man, the, oh. the new Dragon Age game that's coming out next year, early 2014. Yeah. Oh man, I forget the name of the game though. Dragon Age Inquisition. I think that's it, isn't it? Did I get that right? Yeah. Uh, sounds familiar. I think yeah. That's it. Is that like Dragon Age three or I think something? So. Is Dragon Age two a thing? Is Dragon Age three. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's the third one. Inquisition. Yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be a big title okay. that I'll play if it comes out on PC on time. But mm. that's pretty cool. I bought um, Divinity Dragons Commander. I don't know why I did it. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. It's um, <laughs> it's a few games in one. You like? It's a top-down board game, strategy game, which you can go into. You go into individual battles and do real-time strategy. Then you've got an overarching like ship where you talk to people and have lots of di di diplomatic decisions to make and story and stuff it looks pretty cool okay yeah it looks really <laughs> yeah. cool yeah i've not played much of it because i got bored but i have to go back and play it because it's apparently a pretty good game hmm. sometimes you just got to give the games a chance like uh i was yeah. playing steam world the dragons are amazing <laughs> the dragons rock yeah sorry no, I was playing Steam Real Dig, and the first like half hour was a little dry. And even the even the developers like, hey, give it a minute, just play it, and then it'll get a lot better. And it did; it got a lot better. And uh, I'm like three and a half hours into it now. I gotta pace myself so I don't uh, burn up all my hard drive space. Burn it up. <laughs> huh. I'm uh, I'm on a, a website here looking at the the 20 best games of 2013 and number one is Papers, Please. <laughs> that yeah, was an awesome people game. About that, that was an awesome game. I, I, I love Papers, Please. It was a lot of fun. But like, that's the funny thing. It's just like a little developer, isn't that it? That game probably took... Yeah, is like, it one dude? I, think I would think so. Uh, there's not much to the game. There's not much graphics. There's not much... Like, there's an algorithm and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Um... But yeah, I sunk four hours into it, <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. 
Yeah, I never did play it. I, I saw a lot of it on YouTube, and it was hilarious. The Augs cast did a bit on it, and it was just hilarious. I couldn't I couldn't get enough of yeah, that. Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah. Welcome to... What's, what's the name Astorka. of the place? Glory to Astorka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! That's yeah, I, I think it's number one. Then it's nice to see not like one of those huge AAA titles yeah. or whatever up there. I mean, it's funny because a game like um, Papers Please has such a simple concept, and there's no like you got many little upgrades. It's almost like Cake Mania if you think about it. You gotta push these people through and check all their IDs for different ways of checking them, right? And it's it's mm -hmm. a glorified flash game, and uh, it was awesome. Pretty yeah. much, it was a lot of fun. It was cool, yeah. And number three on this list is Hearthstone, actually. Uh, <laughs> Which isn't now, isn't you... it? It's still in beta. I think it is in beta. Yeah, it's still a closed beta. That's weird. Have you guys played Hearthstone at all? No, I want to give it a shot, though, even though I'm terrible at such games. I'm terrible at card games like that, where it's like... It's, uh, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit daunted by... Is that the word? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm daunted by the complexity of it. I, I was too, like I, I think I signed up for the beta three months ago or something and then like a month ago they sent me a key for it. I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And it's it's surprisingly easy to learn. It's a really basic game. Yeah. And it's it's actually a lot of fun. Like I've never played WoW or, or yeah. anything like that. But I, I still really enjoy Hearthstone to be honest. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a really it was really popular for a while. I knew a guy who was playing it like he just started his channel and he was getting thousands of views for the game because it was just so popular. Mm. Wow. Yeah, he's not. I, I think it's died down a bit it now. Has, yeah. It'll probably it'll probably come back a bit when it uh, when they finally release it. Oh, for sure. A game that I really want to play. I've got it, but I haven't played it yet. Is Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Brothers. Oh, yeah. Is it a tale of? Um... Tale of Two Sons. Oh, okay, that sounds familiar. Some, something like that, yeah. Apparently, it's really, really good. And do you know? Do you know what it is? No, no. Go ahead, please enlighten me. Not really. It's no. A, it's a game where you control two brothers using uh, the two your left and right sticks on your controller. Oh wow! So you, you got to solve puzzles by controlling them independently throughout the level. Yeah. Hmm. And it, apparently it's a really good story. Total Biscuit said he, it's the best game of all time. Really? To, yeah. That's some pretty good reviews. Wow. And, uh, and, uh, hmm. He's usually really that, critical as well. That's the thing, well, yeah. So. He's a cynical Brit, right? Or whatever. He's, uh... He's, Which is, yeah, yeah, it's why I want to play it. Okay. Well, if Total Biscuit thinks it's good, then... It's gotta be good. And the whole story's told... Yeah. <laughs> the whole story's told without dialogue as well. They've got, like, a Sims language. It's like a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how did it sound thing, like yeah. again, Jimmy? I didn't quite hear you. Say it again. <laughs> oh, sorry, one more time. Uh, <laughs> it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, Very cool. there we go. Brothers is actually 50% off until January 2nd. So, uh, so there. <laughs> mm. 7.49. On Steam. Don't play without a controller, though. You can do this for... Yeah, I mentioned... Wait. You can play co-op in single-player mode. How does that work? Oh, okay. One person controls a stick each, I guess? Which oh, wow. defeats the point. The whole point is that you play it on your own. Yeah. With two sticks. I guess you could play it on PC. Interesting. I'll look at that. You also don't want to cry in front of someone. <laughs> I cry all the time. <laughs> Oh god. Have you guys cried in a video game before? No. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I have. Final Fantasy VII? No, no when Tifa died, I definitely... Uh, Ares? Ares? Ares, that's right, Ares, not Tifa. Ares died. I, spoilers. Uh, yeah, I guess so. If you haven't played it yet, then... Uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. You didn't hear <laughs> that. To yeah. Be you, yeah. Um, that was actually a critical I moment in the it. game, actually. That's a very critical moment. Wow. Um, no, <laughs> never, uh, never cried for a Stop. game, ever. No, no, I haven't. I'm trying to think. Walking Dead almost got me. <laughs> it 
It, it almost did, to be honest. I haven't actually even watched Walking Dead. <laughs> it's just because I was so invested in the story that when the thing happened... <laughs> not bad, not <sighs> bad. That was pretty good. For those that know what happened, you know. Well, we technically don't know which Walking Dead you're talking about, right? There's a bunch. Yeah. That's true. I, I even have some of you them. You just haven't opened them yet. Of course not. It's it's, it's installed as well. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it, though. Good God, John. I know. I know. Okay. So you, you wanted to talk about the worst games as well. Oh, I have a couple. Oh, yep. okay, good. Shoot, shoot. All right. Um, now, these games, I guess, in my opinion, could use a lot more work. Um... I was gifted a game called Shelter and that I shared with all of my YouTube friends and uh, <laughs> thanks for the no key. No problem. Thanks. I got more. I got more. Um, the developers did a. Do you? How many? I do think you have I have like five left. They they sent me oh, like. Why don't you give them away to anyone who's watching this? You know what? If the uh, the first person to comment on this video on any one of these channels that would like a key for Shelter will get one. They just have to say, "Hey, I'm <laughs> the first one to comment. I'd love to have a key for Shelter." <laughs> And you can get one, and I'll get a hold of you, or Jimmy or John will get a hold of you, and I'll make sure they send you a key. But it's so kind of only you. three people, because I'm pretty sure I have three left. All right, and uh, okay, the first, the first three on, e sorry, the first one person on each channel, and uh, we'll give some away. But here I'm, I'm gonna sell the game to you now too. <laughs> so it's kind of like a survival okay. game, you know, the whole. You're a badger family. I never made it past the first couple minutes. It just wasn't for me, this game. <laughs> and you go around. I think I collected an onion in the first minute. I didn't know how to feed it to my family. I killed one of the badgers, but I was <laughs> touching them. They just died. It was raining outside. I lived in a hovel made of dirt. I mean... What were you just saying five minutes ago about giving games a chance? I gave it a chance. I tried again, <laughs> you and then I started getting dizzy. And then I'm like, you know what? If I can't get into a game within the first few minutes, I shouldn't be playing it. And I, I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> I should have given it more of a chance. I should have. But it just wasn't for me. It's that, like, some people really enjoyed the game. Like, I know Hannah played this game for hours on her channel, and she loved it. I mean, she had a good time wow. playing it, and so did her followers. But... It, it's oh. just not for me. Just not for me. The premise does not make me want to buy it. I'll be honest. The the the, the survival aspect. It sounds boring. It kind of it sounds kind of boring. It sounds pretty good actually. I don't know. I kind of like the sound of it. Just being a little badger and walking around with your badger family. That <laughs> sound badger, amazing. Badger, badger. Um, it sounds it sounds okay. Like not amazing, but like I'd, I'd give it a go. I I think it could be a lot it a better. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny video, but um, the game I think if it was a little more polished, maybe like they used this interesting graphics actually. The the, the the actual artwork was pretty cool. I liked that, but I think maybe the graphics do look they're very different. Cool. They're different, but if they made the game troll cat, if if they made the game <laughs> a little more polished, just I don't know, maybe some different style characters or something. I don't know. Like it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Um, cool. there may have been an... It wasn't released that long ago, though, was it? Um, uh, six months ago, maybe. Maybe a little more. Oh, I really? Remember. Oh. I'll, I'll check real quick. 28th of August. Not I'm either. looking at a lot of lists of, like, worst games of the year. And it seems like Aliens, Colonial Marines tops, like, most of them. That did look pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> it did, didn't it? To be honest, it did get like horrible, horrible reviews. <laughs> yeah. I stayed well clear because I'm a big fan of the movies. There was a... I've never actually seen the Alien movies. No. Really? Ever? Never. You gotta get, get you gotta get yourself on Netflix and you gotta watch those. They are really awesome. Yeah. Are they on Netflix? I don't know. Somewhere. Just 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 Somewhere. get them legally and watch them and uh, they're awesome. They're Yes, I can I yeah. will only get those get movies legally. legally. Yes. I will not use illegal streaming sites to view movies. Very good. Ever. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> I said it on the internet, it is true. You can do that? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> no, um, awesome, awesome series. They're all really good. And uh, it's really funny. I just made a video about something from the Alien series. 
I did it. Oh, oh okay. yeah, this. Space yeah, I haven't engineers. posted it yet. I uh, I've made it. I have to edit it still. Ooh. And uh, we gotta play oh. that once the multiplayer. Comes oh, that'd out. be really sweet. Kind to build stuff with you. That'd yeah. be sick. <laughs> have you seen Space Engineers, John? It's pretty cool. Uh, I saw you post a couple of videos, but I haven't looked at them yet. You can watch me build a cock and balls ship on my channel. <laughs> wink, wink. It was uh. There you go, guys. If you uh, if you want to see Jimmy build a cock and balls, head on over to his channel. <laughs> Personally, I've seen him build the cock and balls, and it's pretty good, actually. I recommend it. It's a uh, it's a uh, a good good ship. It's got a big climatic ending in it as well. <laughs> it does. Ten out of we'll ten. Spoil what happens? Which cock and balls again? Let's just say there's penetration at the end of the video. Okay. Oh my time god. Time to change the subject. Next worst game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I've got one, yep. actually. I haven't played it, but uh, this list I'm looking at uh, puts Ashes Cricket 2013 as worst game of the year. <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> wow. It was it was taken off Steam about two days after it was put on no sale way. because people were just so angry that they would put it out. <laughs> what was it called? Ashes uh, I, I think... cannot imagine how... Ashes Cricket 2013. What is it? How would the mechanics work for that? Oh, you just press a button to hit the ball. I know, uh, but people and you run back I think and forth. I think uh. everyone got re uh, refunds who bought the game, but like I, I saw some gameplay of it and it didn't look that bad to be honest. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> no, it looked fine. There were no problems. Like the AI like ran around a bit weirdly like a couple of times, but it didn't look too bad. So I don't know. Well, if you're a fan I, I, of cricket, then I'm not a fan of cricket. I've never played cricket in my <laughs> life. I've been hit with a cricket bat as a, some kind of like joke. Oh god, that wasn't really hard, but it was. It doesn't sound like a great no, joke. No, no, I mean friends. <laughs> okay, so I'm I I, I YouTubed Ashes Cricket. Uh -huh. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. It doesn't look bad, though. <laughs> no, close. Maybe it's because the video I clicked was boring. They only got 15 <laughs> seconds out of me. Story of my life. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, do you have any any terrible games? Um, I think most of the terrible games I didn't play because they're terrible. Good for you. Yeah. I'm a big fan. I'm a big believer in reading reviews, not getting a game when it comes out. No, for sure. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy The Walking Dead: Survival Instinct. Yeah, that's that's like number three worst game on on this list here. Because big fan of The Walking Dead. Thought the game sounded cool, but apparently it's a big steaming pile of shit. Yeah, it looks like it was pretty bad. <laughs> Well, that's cool, though. I mean, so you, you you read the reviews. That's that's what a lot of people use the reviews for. It's just to see what it's like. Like that's what a lot of people go to YouTube for, is to check out videos of games that's true. and see what it's like. And for what it's worth, yeah. most videos of games that I've seen on YouTube, I've purchased that game as well. Not ev not every yeah. single one. Yeah. Not not Shelter. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't like <laughs> that one. But you know, people enjoyed it. A lot or of people shelter. enjoyed the game, and you know, I, I thank the developer for sending you know all these keys to us to help to distribute the game and get some awareness. But it wasn't for me. But it was for what it's worth. It was bug free. It, it operated. The game worked well. There was no problems with it. It just wasn't for me. That's a relief. It's just not for everybody. Yeah, yeah like, that's um, fair. It's my opinion. Like there's a lot of games out there that come out and they're buggy. Like Sim City. Oh, Sim City. There's a game that. I got this year, and I have it for PC, and it's just sitting there. And another example of how, like, a guy like Sips can play any game. SimCity, I think, is a very boring game to play on YouTube to have other people watch. It's very difficult to do. I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty hard. It is, and and they can, and he can do it. I'm sure it's fun by yourself. Though. Oh yeah, it is. It is. But to do that online, it's it's tricky. And there were so many bugs with the game when it first came out, but the game was still good. Now they've ironed out most of them, but it's uh, yeah an example of a game that is good, but with bugs you can tolerate it. But there's other games that are riddled with no sorry that don't have any bugs and are just terrible. You won't even play them. Did you get it at launch? Um, I got it when it was fairly new, not at launch. Like um, so you didn't have all the uh, DRM 
issues. And um, stuff. we actually had a lot of DRM issues still. Um, huh. Not like we wouldn't be able to connect to the server often. It would tell us you can cannot connect license something something and. We had that often, and we just had to reinstall the program half the time, and it would already save your game to the cloud, and it was a little frustrating. But now it seems to be okay, but I don't really play anymore. There's this, there's a cool expansion that came out. There's a cool expansion that came out, but I don't want to get it. Cities of Future Times or something, right? Cities of Tomorrow, that's right, yeah. That's it, yeah. It's cool. I want to build myself a mega tower, but I don't know. That's, that's a lot of video games. <laughs> SimCity, you can play hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I never got that one. Hmm, I'm surprised. I did buy, a, I bought Anno 2070 today. I don't know if that's kind of a similar thing. I heard of that. I haven't played oh. it. I think it's like a strategy city building kind of thing. I'm not sure. Is it just... You're like it a looked cool. compulsive Steam sale buyer. Yeah, pretty much. The Steam I sale's just... been terrible. It's because, yeah, I haven't had anything good to buy so far. So I was like, well, fuck it, I'm going to get this. <laughs> yeah, I was looking forward to the holidays. So there's nothing me new. Me looks really good, actually. The uh, the background's yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. It looks pretty. <laughs> this is a city builder, you say? This is on my games to playlist now. I like this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see that? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's a little older, this game, though. Wait, it's not brand new anymore. No. No, but like... I don't know, there's DLC with it for like 1250 or something, you can get the entire thing for 1250 yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll give that a go. Yeah, it does look nice. Blue Bite, Ubisoft. It does look quite pretty. Actually, you know what? Blue Bite made um, The Settlers. And uh, The Settlers was an awesome oh, yeah. game, especially the first three. I didn't like the last two so much, but the first three were just awesome. I think I played that a long time ago. It's an older, like the first three are very old, and the last one was, um, I think, five. And that was still pretty good. And uh, they switched the game around. They had heroes and things. That wasn't my favorite, but Blue Bite's an awesome game maker, and Ubisoft are pretty cool too. They're the developer. Okay. Well, yeah, Ubisoft does good games. <laughs> no, they're they're a AAA title. Or yeah. AAA developer, I should say. That's true. Do you guys have any? Uh, what what are your what are your big games for 2014? Ah. Oh, jeez. It would have to be... Uh, I, don't I just said it. What was the name of the game? Oh, gosh. Oh, Dragon <laughs> Age Inquisition. I really want to hit that. I think it'll be really right. good. Okay. You know what? I don't know. I've got so many games that I need to play that I'm not looking forward enough. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> it's just hard. I think... Does that make sense? It is hard, yeah. I think, like... Fallout 4 might come out 2014. Rumored. So that would be good. Uh, was that Boston? Yeah. If that comes out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> jump all over that shit. But yeah, definitely. I do know the division looks pretty damn good. I haven't heard of that yeah, actually. I see that one. Oh, go check it out. It's a post-apocalyptic kind Sold. of. Sold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go play it. Without zombies, though. Oh. So you Without better. zombies, unsold. <laughs> God damn it! We got enough zombie games. It's true, they really the did blow Tom up. Tom Clancy's the division. Tom Clancy made some good games. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Who's now dead? He died this year. Tom Clancy died. Did what? he? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, I've got a list of people that died here. Oh, okay. It's yeah. a little weird. Well, but... Nelson Mandela. Oh my gosh, you heard about Nelson Kanye Mandela. West and what he said? He's the next nope. Nelson Mandela? Yeah, he said he's the next Nelson Mandela. Is that yeah. what he said? <laughs> Jesus. He is a jackass. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's like, you know. Can't say that. Oh man. Oh god. That, that, that Margaret really Thatcher me. died this year. What's that? Yeah. Margaret Thatcher died. Huh? Be... James Gandolfini died. I don't know who that is. God rest his soul. Sopranos? I was yeah. big on that. I haven't watched it either. I, I recognize the name though. Uh, David Frost died this year. I only know Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> David Frost. No, I don't know David Frost. That's too bad. He does a lot of it. He's a big interviewer. Big name. Oh, okay. Good dude. Anyway, yeah. 
put a spoiler on the party we're having. Yeah, a little bit. A yeah. Little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we won't. People. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find no, something. No, no, here. no, no more. No more. Right. The most recent dead of 2013, or 20, I don't want to hear it. I don't <laughs> hear it. That's just menacing. Top deaths. Yeah. <laughs> Top deaths. Top ten deaths of 2013. Wait, I got one. Another game that I didn't like very much. Oh, okay. It, it was a game called Salvation Prophecy. I remember this. Never heard it's, of it. Um, it's a small indie indie developer. Um, they're uh, it's how to put it. Um, let me, let me just pull it up here. Terrible. Cool. I'm just trying to. It's a shit. They're they're a smaller title. They're trying to develop, and the game has potential. It's just I. The intro was way too long. That like the training, like it, it took way <laughs> too long, and by the time I actually got into the gameplay, I I didn't like it. It was just it was it was a little boring. It wasn't quite for me. Yeah. Um, oh, it was yeah. a newer title. Came out this year, October seventh. It was called Salvation Prophecy from Fire Dance Games. Um, it's a cool game. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Um, just not my thing. The graphics were subpar, but for a smaller indie title, it's pretty good. And it's pretty cheap for 10 bucks. You can't really complain right now, but it might be. So there you go, guys. 10 bucks. Don't check it out. Do not buy it. It's terrible. <laughs> I would not say terrible. Don't, Shelter don't had to be worse it. for me. That had to be worse for me. <laughs> I really should play Shelter just to see you know what? if it is I w- as bad I w- as you say it is. You know is. what? I've been installing it now. I think you should play it, John. Both installed. of you play it. Both of you play it, okay? And I want you guys I'll do a video. To do, a do a video, video and post them, okay? And what I will do is I will comment okay. on your videos and I will say exactly what I think about the game, okay? I will tell you everything. <laughs> and I want everybody else who's watching to make sure to tell me what they think. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe... I think the game is not that exciting. Maybe maybe you'll get right into it and you'll have a big old badger family and have a big old party I'm and gonna, I'll come over for tea and up. onions or whatever else you're going to get out of the ground there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play it and I'm going to have so much fun with it just to spite, just to no, spite please you. Please do, please do, because <laughs> if the game is good, I want you to tell me, but I couldn't get past like the first, I don't know, minute 15 tops. Start wow. and I'm like, oh my god, badgers! Badger, badger, badger. This Pulled is amazing. This in this no, really. <laughs> an onion? You're kidding me. It's a green onion. It's not even a whole one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even two better. minutes on record. That's what I have for the game. Two minutes on record. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. Wow. Again, I, I, have one I, really, I really appreciated the developer sending us all those keys, but it's just, the game wasn't for me, and I'm certain other people enjoyed it. It's just, it's not for me. What if four minutes into the game, like, the ground yeah, opens just, up just and com- the tentacles come out? Yeah, it just completely out. changes everything. And, <laughs> yeah. You'll find out on our videos. Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you guys get some bad games? Um, not really, no. No, like, like Jimmy, I did, didn't buy the games that I heard were terrible. Yep. yep. I don't think I purchased um, too many bad games. I tr- no. I played Tomb Raider actually. That's a pretty bad game. The, the new one. I didn't really enjoy it. Wait, which, which Tomb really? Raider? I got to confuse yeah. with the Tomb Raider for PS3 because that was really bad. Yes, yeah, same one I think. The new one. Uh, how new? Like a year ago? This okay, year? different Tomb Raider. <laughs> different Tomb Raider. It's not. I'm okay. Oh, the one okay. I was confused with is something else, and that was pretty bad. All right. Um, did you get the Left 4 Dead 2 on Steam? It's free. Yeah, I've, I, had, I've had it for a while. Yeah, I've, I already had Left 4 okay. Dead 2. I had a lot of fun with that game. Well, good. I just got it. Did yeah, you get I just it? got it. We should do a, a big old tournament where we kick each other's butts. Or I guess we do a co-op and we kick everything else's butts. Could do, could do. Yeah, um, yeah I think I've been planning on maybe doing like a, an eight-person versus <gasps> game. So, like, you guys... Pierogi and me could be on a team, and then the other guys I have in mind could be the other team. Okay. Well, I have to carry you guys. Yeah. yeah I'll be. Will. I'll be the anchor. <laughs> no. <laughs> it will not be like Sniper Elite oh, Zombie. Yeah, it's not gonna lag. So it's not bad. Gonna scope you back. know what? That game was actually pretty good. <laughs> I liked it. It was a lot of fun. 
I enjoyed it's, it. Yeah. It's a fun game, yeah. The, but the fucking lag. The lag was you there. You can just play it on our channels. We, you we can. <laughs> <laughs> No, I thought it was great, and the scope lag was bad, but like I said, it's a an indie developer, they're developing the game, and the gameplay was good enough that you could tolerate the scope lag, right? But, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun with it. They're nice enough to send send us keys. They, they willingly sent us four keys for the game, it was really kind of them, and uh, it was great. The game turned out a lot of fun. Um, it would have been nice if there was a story mode for that game, I think, to actually play it through solo, as opposed to only be playing multiplayer all the time. Maybe it's something they're working on, who knows. Yeah. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, uh... Yeah. But yeah, we should definitely do some Left 4 Dead sometime. Yeah. Let's I've never it. played it, I've just seen videos That'd of be... it, and uh, I think it'll be fun. Okay. I think it is a lot of fun. I think we're coming up on an hour here, guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just an hour and ten minutes. Yeah. That went pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I've had lots of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yes. Good talking to you guys again. Good chit chat. A good chit chat. If you're watching this and you're, you've stayed for the whole thing, hope you've had a good time too. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done for yeah, hanging no, out. Yeah, awesome guys. Um, you get a free shelter key. Yeah, it's hidden in, it's <laughs> if hidden in the, the video. First. It's hidden in the video. You have to be the first <laughs> to comment saying, I want the shelter key. I think that's what I said. Or whatever I said the first time is what we'll do. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. If you just skip to the end, you have to go back and find where Celery said Yeah, that. I said that like... I'm not going to mark it out at all. <laughs> I'll throw in a copy of the Smurfs too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I actually saw that on... Uh, I, I watched the first Smurfs on on uh, Netflix, and it's pretty funny actually. I enjoyed it. <laughs> that movie grossed like half a billion dollars. It's, it's an, Well, I mean... Christ. I was barely, I'm barely old enough to remember the cartoon series as a kid. So I don't think, John, you've even oh, heard okay. it. I don't, I don't really remember No, you those. wouldn't have. Oh, you might oh, have no, been no. just too old then. I watched it. I watched it, yeah. Really? Big Papa Smurf. It, it could have been that we didn't have cable when we were kids. So maybe that's why, like, we didn't have cable. So I only saw it occasionally when, like, the moon was aligned with the stars just right. And, like, the signal came in, right? Yeah. That's a smart yeah, song. That's right, isn't you it? got it. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember it that well. No, well, that's right. That's right. Well, do you guys want to call it there? I'm down with the Smurfs. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, think we so. should. Let me finish up with a Christmas joke cool. here. Okay. <laughs> Play us out, Jimmy. What do you call people who are scared of Santa Claus? I don't know, Jimmy. What do you call people who are scared of Santa Claus? Claustrophobic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a good joke, wow, Jimmy. Jimmy. Wow, that was that was that was something else. <laughs> I've waited all all podcast to see. Oh that. man, you must have been oh, holding that all year, eh? Oh man, was, you heard that last year. You wrote it down that. in your little black book. Puns for 2013 <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Post-it note on my monitor. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember to tell John and Celery. You just look at it every joke. day. You just sort of chuckle to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Wow. Well, guys, this was lots what of fun. What a great fun. ending. Um, I want to do this again. I think we should do this more often. Get everybody in the same spot. Yeah, we'll get, yeah, um, sure. we'll get Pierogi involved in the next one, because apparently she went shopping <laughs> just <laughs> before we started. Well, because she said she was available, <laughs> like, and then ten minutes later she was shopping. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <sighs> Woman. Hey. hey. Can't live with him, can't live without him. And uh <laughs> Love him. We'll 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 try and get Robbie, who is part of Jardev, in next time. Sure. Cool, yeah, it's for more than sure. welcome. And I know that not many people actually know that he exists, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Cause most of the subscribers to the channel are just here for like my don't starve stuff. <laughs> That's alright. So they, they miss out on most of our stuff. But yeah, there, there's another half to Jardev. Lovely. Cool. Yeah. I know that Mary wanted to... So we'll do this again. Yeah, sometime. for sure. I know that uh, Mary wanted to uh, come on out tonight, but she had problems with her computer. She has a Mac, and uh, it kind of kicked the bucket. Ooh. She had she had to get a new hard drive or something, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, I thought Macs never die. Well, the hard <laughs> drive would be the one thing, I suppose, that would die. Yeah. But she had, a, she had an SSD, too, so that's really weird. Yeah, it'd be hmm. cool to get her on as well. Yeah. 
The more the merrier. It'll be like one big ham sandwich. Really? <laughs> mm, ham sandwich. I actually had a ham sandwich for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there. Perfect. It's full of coincidences, this podcast. I know. Okay, let's do it. Let's podcast. cut it right there. <laughs> right. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> ho, nice... ho, ho. Happy holidays. Ho, ho. Happy New Year. And, uh. Happy, happy. Merry, thanks for coming out. Happy, happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>